Random Crafting Update. Cross Stitch Update. Hi, welcome to a random stitcher, which is me. And welcome to a random update. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> so I am in my crafting room. I am so happy. I have rearranged it a little bit. So as you can see here, my table is, has been moved here. And here are my sewing machines. So I guess there's no excuse. I am going to um, start sewing soon. My first projects I have decided will be bags, uh, like those I'm using for uh, for cross stitch projects. Um, I don't know if you can see it over there. There's some gray fabric. I'm going to use that and some see-through plastic, kind of. So yeah, going to be interesting. Uh, in the past, I've been sewing a lot uh, and a lot of bags, uh, you know, zipper bags for makeup and stuff. I have also been sewing clothes, but um, I don't have the interest for that anymore. It's too expensive. You can buy. I, I often buy my clothes at secondhand store uh, because I'm, I'm cheap. <laughs> it's just I feel I can get so much pretty clothes and, and uh, nice clothes, something you can even see it has been used sometimes for a very small amount of money. So <laughs> that is often where I buy my clothes. My glasses are very dirty. I don't know, it's always when I do my videos I kind of notice that my glasses are um, dirty. So, using my shirt. <laughs> Okay, so I did a list of what I wanted to talk about today because if I didn't, it could go in all kind of direction, which is probably will. Let's see. <laughs> so this is my very professional list here. Yeah, first thing was moving around in here. Yeah, and I did that. And I think it's uh, how I'm going to do it because I got my desk today, my extra des desk yesterday. We got a new uh, dining table and the table we used before, also something we got uh, second hand for about $15 or something. It's the perfect size for this crafting room for an extra room, uh, extra table. Uh, so yeah, this is my... Um, recording table and this is my crafting table I'm so happy um, I mean I'm you, I cannot describe how happy I am it's the most crazy luxury feeling to have a room for all my I was going to say crap stuff yeah okay uh, next one yeah nails I'm not I don't have uh, fake nails on today. I was going to, and then I took a look at them and I kind of realized these are the best my nails have been in a, about a year or something. When I was very stressed out and I didn't feel good, like 2023 was a very difficult year for me. I was biting my nails and I was picking them. And uh, every time, uh, I was um, when I had um, I had a lot of uh, anxiety attacks and stuff, and and I was just biting my nails and ripping them off. It, but now they're not perfect, and I have some uh, arthritis in my joint here, so they're not pretty. But it's actually the best they have been in a long, long time. So what I have been using, I have been using something actually. I've been using this. I am not in any way connected with these people that um, makes these things. That this, um, I don't know. I just found. I don't know where to buy it. I can't remember. But I have just found. It's really been strengthening my nails. So nice. If you want it, I can write a name somewhere. Okay. Next thing I wanted to talk about is January uh, decision wheel. I did my January decision wheel uh, in a 
what is it? was it a whip parade or something? I will try and find a link and put it in here, I think. Or maybe here. <laughs> I can't remember. It's like when you put in a link uh, in YouTube, it decides where to put the link. And I can't decide it, so it's just somewhere here about. Uh, so you can go check that uh, video out if you want. But the decision we decided, I should... Um, I choose, chose to crustage I wanted to work on in January. And the one was uh, my flower cat. Wasn't it? Yeah, I got a free choice. Oh, I remember now. <laughs> Sorry. I got a free choice. And there was this penguins. Ruskin's penguins accounted crustage. So my free choice ended up being my flower cat. And let me see if I can put in a picture of where I was about a month ago with that flower cat. <laughs> And here is where I am now. Oh, X to thread. This is where I am now. Pretty. So if you can see, I'm not good at, I'm sorry, I'm not good at this. Um, here, down here, this, this is actually the only thing I have to do. And I've got the border. Yeah, the border. Yeah, the border. It's got the border, right? I just love it. It's almost like I don't like to finish it because I'm really loving it. <laughs> Crazy. But yeah, I'm really loving it. Really loving it. And I don't have the link for, for it anymore because apparently either it's been sold out or removed. So it was from Biggest Craft, this. Okay, so the decision will also uh, chose penguins, as I said. But then all the things with the queen happened. Uh, our queen uh, has decided to abdicate, and it's actually actually happens on Sunday, very big day for Denmark. I can tell you, all train tickets to Copenhagen has been sold out almost the minute that she announced the date, and um, it's crazy. You you cannot, as as far as I've been told, I haven't checked, but you cannot get a hotel. Everything is booked. It's in. Same. Uh, there's going to be so many people in Copenhagen, and it's going to be like that. That she, she and our crown prince, which is going to be king, they will be on the balcony, and our prime minister also. And the prime minister will say something like, um, "Normally, the prime minister will say, the king is dead. Long live." king something but our queen is not dead so i don't know what he's going to she's going to say we have female uh, prime minister i don't know what she's going to say something with our queen is alive but don't want to uh, be the queen bee anymore no i don't know very interesting <laughs> to see and it's very historical because we haven't had um a abdicate a, a, a yeah, you know, a royal, a king, a queen, uh, abdicate in a thousand years or something. It's crazy. So, yeah, because of that, I switched my project over and wanted to do a, a crown. In my head, I thought, because I don't have any experience with crowning in Denmark, so I thought it would be like in, in, uh, in, in England, United Kingdom, they have the most beautiful crowning ceremony and in my head I just pictured that it was just oh man we're going to see the the king's new crown and the queen's crown it is so beautiful with you know I don't know it's something uh, not emerald I don't know some very expensive very diamonds and stuff on it and I um, I was so looking forward to seeing that and now my husband said there's not going to be a crowning I said, what? <laughs> no. It's going to be something with she will hand over officially the throne to her son, which will be king. Maybe there'll be a portrait later, be showing him with a crown on. I don't know, but there will not be a crowning. So I don't know what we're going to call it, but um, yeah, handing over the throne. <laughs> but so, so I kind of 
ditched that crowning uh, cross stitch because it was annoying. There was no grid line. Uh, I couldn't import it to um, Pattern Keeper. I was just annoyed with it. So I, I, I actually ditched that. Then I decided to do a um, pattern, my own chart with the Queen's monogram and kind of letting my own uh, creativity kind of flow and I have started it and I kind of just I don't know I just don't feel like it I think it could be very beautiful it's like a monogram and then there's two daisy flowers and I was kind of the monogram is black and I thought about doing the black and then fade it over in all kind of colors because our queen Margarita is the most colorful person you can ever think uh, when she goes to uh, a ball, whatever it's called, party stuff. Her dress is, is red and pink and purple, and she has a yellow raincoat, and she's uh, she does uh, painting, and she designs cross stitch patterns with I don't know the most beautiful colors. So she's a very colorful person. So I wanted to at the same time she's very traditional. So I wanted to create her monogram in traditional black but let it fade over in all kinds of, in, in some bright color and then put on uh, flowers uh, with, um, yeah. I was thinking about taking a look at her dresses and kind of pick, I know she had a very bright pink, pink um, dress on at one point. So I wanted to do a flower in that pink color and a red and, it, but it, it, all of a sudden it just became such a big, huge project. So. I have not this I have not you know uh, ditched it total but I just put it away I don't know if I can find it I probably can because I don't know where it is no. <coughs> if I can find a, find a picture or something I will put it in I don't know where it is right now so yeah so instead of uh, instead of that I actually decided to turn to the what the wheel decided originally and that was the penguins ruskin's penguins and this is uh, penguins this is from uh, modern folk embroidery and i just really really love it <laughs> so fun uh, the the line says one can't be angry when one looks at a penguin and it's true I love penguins. You, you can't be angry when you're looking at penguins. <laughs> so cute. So I immediately ran into a problem because um, I have actually used the fabric I intended for this one. I have used it for um, the Queen's project. Um, so yesterday I, I decided to take some white Ada and color it myself. Oh, sorry. Something happened. Okay, and um, I looked at uh, I looked at Google and tried to see if uh, I could do it with uh, some coffee because I wanted it kind of a brown, brownish. Um, you can see here, this is brown, and I really wanted that color, but I knew I couldn't get that color. But but something was dark enough so that the white could be shown. So I found a. Uh, um, I found a website where they, um, yeah, they, they colored something with coffee. So I followed the instructions, and this is the color. Uh, can I get you uh, show you a white? I'm not very prepared. I'm sorry for that. But yeah, this is white. See, and you see next to the white. So. This is, um, oh, it's turned out beautifully. <laughs> I have not said search it. Uh, I'm going to search the edges. So, yeah, it, it's very even. Um, kind of regret I didn't do something twisted and things, but this was really just a test, but it's turned out beautiful. So I'm going to use this. The way I did it, if you want to know, I can tell you now. If not, you can move past this. The way I did it was I I boiled two liters of water. I put that in a bucket. 
Then I took 10 uh, big spoons of uh, coffee powder. And, um, oh man, I got here. And I used um, normal coffee. Not espresso or uh, instant. It was normal coffee you put in a coffee machine, not whole beans, but one you know, put in an old-fashioned coffee machine. Ten big spoons of that. And I stirred it up and I put the fabric in. And um, then I let it uh, sit in that. I, I stirred it up sometimes and then I let it sit in for about ten hours. Twelve hours maybe, I can't remember. They said... Uh, they actually recommend it to, uh, if you want a darker color, you could let it in, let it be for around uh, 24 hours. But I didn't have the patience. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, and then I um, yeah, took it up and they said something about vinegar. I didn't have any vinegar and I didn't want to buy any vinegar. So I just thought, this is not something I'm going to wash and wash and wash. So um, I think it's okay. So I just... Uh, Put it in the washing machine, and what is skulle called? Flushed? I don't know. Flushed the color, the coffee out, and I washed it normal with washing um, soap. And here we are. I think it's great. <laughs> it's so cheap because this was even it, it was um, a coffee I, I don't drink anymore. So um, yeah, you can use it for color. And I said I have seen something where you can color with the avocado and it's get maybe a color like this. I don't know. That's maybe just me. Maybe, but I will look into it because it's a fun way. But I also would like to do something where you twist it and you kind of get a pattern in it. I don't know. But yeah, this is going to be great. So I have picked the color this, which is thirty eight sixty six, and it can be shown. I have checked. I think you can be able to see it. And for, it's on two colors in this. And for the penguins, I have not chosen black, I have chosen this. This is a charcoal uh, 37.99. Okay, so that I will be starting. <laughs> and return to my original plans, because I I have promised myself I'm, no, I have not made any promises, because I'm an idiot. Keeping my promises. No promises. Okay, so next one, that was the penguins. Yeah, I forgot to tell you the size. I had the chart here. And it is, um, it's called for two colors I didn't have and I didn't know anything about it. One is called chalkboard, one is called weathered white. So uh, I just looked up what is chalkboard. It was just, it's something that is almost black. So, okay, I went with that. And weathered white, it's just, I thought something White, but not white. A little bit gray, maybe. Yeah. That's what I went for. It is 113 uh, stitches by 135. And I have counted, I have enough of that fabric, so yay. I think I have around 130 this way uh, stitches. So there is room for me to, um, uh, to search the edge. Okay, so that was uh, penguins, penguins, penguins. Next one I have written is my progress. Well, I actually showed that because the only thing I have been stitching on is flower cat, and I did show that. Yeah, I also did uh, a little bit of, um, and this was totally out of um, the, not, not the plan. But I just wanted to start it because I think it's pretty. So I have been doing <laughs> what you saw in the video. I haven't been doing anything else. This one. Snow Hill Monastery. So and this one I am doing um, 10 stitching on 14 count. And I'm using a frame. There's a video for that if you want to see that. I will not try to put in more links because the last time I did it, all the links disappeared when I tried to put in more link than one. So, but yeah, no progress really there. It's kind of a new thing, so not that much progress. And I showed you my flower get, yeah. Yeah. So, next. 
and we are going to uh, the second last um, thing on my note. It's knitting. Yes, I have started knitting. Uh, before all this crosses came into my life, I knitted a lot, uh, especially for my grandchildren. And now they are getting bigger, and they don't like knitting things anymore. So I've just there's no point in me knitting anymore. Well, I just actually fall in love, fell in love with something. Um, I have always loved to sit in the couch, you know, and watch watched a movie and knit it. The thing is with cross stitch, when I do cross stitch and I watch a movie, I only listen to a movie. With, uh, with some knitting, I could actually uh, watch the thing. So uh, if it's only, you know, ordinary stitches, not something with a very difficult pattern, then I'm not able to. But ordinary stitches, yes. So it's this one. A sweater for me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's maybe a huge project, but really this will be knitted on... Um, what what are they call, called? Circle needle, and it's eight or maybe eight and a half millimeters. I don't know what what that is in U U.S. Um, terms, but um, Denmark it's eight millimeters or eight and a half because I can measure. I haven't got my measure thing. I, I got it at one point, but yeah. Um, let me see. I did. Okay, apparently that is gone. Um, I actually thought I saved the uh, the thing around the. Uh, I'm looking in my trash can. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> found it. Don't worry, there's no food and stuff in there. It's only something for crafting. So, this is it. It's called alpaca and I have never used that much before because it's kind of fluffy yarn and uh, my none of my grandchildren wanted that fluffy thing, but um, I love it. It gives a very beautiful fluffy look and it's nice to wear. So uh, I chose these colors. Can you see it? This is brown and this is gray. Put them together and this is what I have been knitted. I am knitting it from top and down. And right now I am decreasing so that there's, uh, you know, I have not I never used any uh, English patterns, so I'm not very good at the technical terms, but um, I'm going to make sleeves. And so I am decreasing right making it bigger and when they are big enough then i will um, make it smaller again <laughs> i don't know <laughs> it's not i can explain it in english but it's going to be pretty and it's very fast because there's big 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 needles i love that so i'm not going to make it very long this is something i was hoping to jump start uh, my knitting uh, love again i hope it will but i'm not sure Let's see. It's not going to be very long. I just want it to go right below my waist and I have decided to make it quite wide so that I can use it for a walk with Albert or something when it's springtime because um, I love that. Okay. I think that's it. <laughs> I, there will be a stitch with me uh, uh, yeah, one of the next days. Uh, I am going to do a video with the start of the penguins. But um, I just uh, wanted to uh, do a little random update for what's happening here. I'm so happy with my craft room. Okay, how many times did I say that? Did you count? <laughs> okay, so... Yeah. My plan. What's your plans for the weekend? Do you have any? Uh, my plan is to... Um, drink coffee, um, eat popcorns because there will be some NFL games we're going to watch and it requires popcorn 
And of course, we're going to watch the crowning, whatever we are going to call it, uh, Sunday. It's not Sunday, what day it is today? Yeah, the day after tomorrow. Oh, it's going to be exciting. The last two weeks, I'll tell you, there has been so much on the television with old programs, old shows with the Queen uh, when she was young and when she was a little bit older and uh, the the Queen's uh, husband, which is dead, dead now, and the children, the Crown Prince. Um, yeah. I'm sorry, but I'm, I'm having a little bit up to here in those shows. I love my queen. I love the royal family. I'm a very big royalist. But um, please, can, can, we, can we get some normal TV back? <laughs> Luckily, we have Netflix, right? <laughs> okay. So, yeah, my plans for the, next, for the rest of the January is uh, I'm sitting on uh, Flower Cat and penguins and maybe I will randomly just uh, feel like uh, something third don't know but those two are my main focus this month and my knitting so yeah okay that's it for me thank you so much for watching I hope you will have a wonderful weekend and um, let me know in the comment what you are doing this weekend and um, if there's anything else you wanted to to tell me or oh, if you want links for something let me know in the comments and um, yeah hope you have a nice weekend and uh, did i say thank you for watching okay i'm going to say goodbye now goodbye take care and happy stitching bye bye